go. What's up, guys? I finished my uh, retro build for the CRT, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick. So, yeah, I ended up picking up a little uh, Dell Opiplex, 7100 for 100 bucks, and cleaned it up. I installed my little video card down there, that red one, which I've got custom firmware on, and that lets me export a 15 kilohertz signal to that little thing there, which is a VGA to component transcoder. And that gets all my retro games, like all the old consoles, working with component cables instead of shitty composite cables. And uh, yeah, it's like pixel perfect, looks, looks awesome. And then this is, uh, this is called LaunchBox. Uh, well, I'm using the premium version called Big Box, and it lets you get like a pause menu so you can exit out, you can save your states, you can check out your achievements. I really haven't played this yet, so I don't think I have any achievements in there. Um, yeah, and I'll show you all the games and stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to play with one hand here. So that'll close that out. We can go back to the main menu here. So we got Super Nintendo, we got arcade games, Final Burn Neo, TurboGrafx-16, 64, NES, Game Boy, GBA, Game Boy Color, and then we even got some uh, Sega arcade stuff like a Thomas Wave, Sega Naomi, and Dreamcast, and uh, yeah, Genesis, Master System, even Sega Saturn, and just for you, just for you, Neil, I got uh, Neo Geo, even though I have all that stuff in uh, Final Burn Neo, but um. Yeah, super cool, man. Like it, uh, I've got it completely idiot-proof, so the the kids can't actually access the retro arc menu, which make it makes it a lot easier when I'm not messing stuff up. Yeah, I launched a quick game here, just for you, Neil, you and Lindsay, because you guys can apparently like speed run this game. Where is it? Yes, the Alien Wars. So I've got the TV set up at 224p. So all the games are like completely pixel perfect. And it actually runs on something called Super Res. So it's 2560 by 224p. And then the games automatically switch resolution. And you can even customize stuff, all that stuff and, and save it for each game. And I even have this set up here too. This is uh, a different build of launch box I did so that's actually running on this PC here um, but this lets me play all like my favorite Japanese vertical shooters and it's even got high scores and stuff you can compete online with which is super cool so if we go to view high scores I wonder if my score is still in here monthly no yearly oh there I am fourth place on the on the yearly leaderboard for uh on Tachi. Yeah, I love these pause menus. You can save your states and load your states, and this one's super fun. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys online later for playing Mario Kart, and uh, have a good day, guys. Peace.